Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This one to be a treat. This is Duck Rabbit Hoppy Bunny ABA, which is an American Black Ale. 7.3% alcohol by volume. 12 fluid ounces. And fresh beer for best flavor. Please refrigerate and enjoy by date indicated. Got the scale on the side here and got a notch in it. Man, that's what we need, guys. All the beer breweries need to step up to the plate and either have something like that on the side that they can notch on the label or actually have either a 2, 4, or, or 6, 8 digit code there, month, day, year. Bottom line, no codes other than that. Uh, don't know what else to say, guys. Thumbs up to Duck Rabbit. They are the dark beer specialists. This is a black ale. I'm sure it's going to be tasty. I know it's going to be tasty. I've not had it before, but uh, with utmost confidence in these people, they are a dark beer specialist, and that's what they're known for. So I know this is going to be a treat. They are out of uh, Farmville, North Carolina. American Black Ale, 7.3%, like I said, rotating schedule. The food praying for this, uh, being an American Black Ale, not technically a style. So uh, not knowing that it's going to be hot forward or not, I would imagine it may be, but we'll see. Uh, it would go good with your stronger dishes, your grilled meats, uh, beef, uh, game, cheeses, or uh, like your sharp blue, your more tangy cheeses, even gorgonzola, Limburger. The glass are up this, pint glass, back side mug, uh, side down, about anything you want to pour it in. You could use 7.3, usually I have the Duba glass guys for this, oversized wine glass. Uh, the tulip glass enhances the aromas a lot of times on these bigger alcohol beers, and especially the darker beers. So, uh, and uh, being 7.3%, the alcohol is going to let it keep. I mean, this will keep probably five to seven, eight, maybe even ten years. I, I'm not going to say when the date's going to run out of it to sell it correctly. It's going to keep for a very long time. But if it's a hot forward ale, uh, it, it will lose that hoppiness, guys. So, that being said, let's. Uh, not flap my gums any longer on that and get it in the glass and see what we got. We're going to pour it kind of aggressive and see if we can give us a good, there we look at there. We're going to give us a real good hit on this one. See if we can get the rest of it in there. I believe we can. Got a slight haze on the very bottom of it there, guys. A lot of the darker beers will settle down on the bottom though, especially when they're refrigerated like 40 degrees like I do. Nice looking beer. Got us a good three finger of head on that pour. Into the light, it's got a slight ruby tinge around the outside of the glass there guys. I cannot see through the center of it. It's technically not black black where you cannot see anything through it like a, uh, like a stout would be. This does have some ruby tinges around. I can see some red light around the, the outside, but not through the center. Looks very good in the glass. Real nice creamy head on top there, guys. Hanging around, too. we still got us a good two-finger head there. Of course, this went down probably about an eighth of an inch or so. Looks very good in the glass. Get a nose on this one. And right off the bat, let me tell you, this is hot forward. Big hot presence on this. Do not sell her this beer, let me tell you right now, because it will lose this hoppiness. Wow, it has a monster hop presence on this. Very citrusy, I'm getting pine and grapefruit. Wow. If I had a blindfold on, I would, I would say this is an IPA or a, maybe even a double IPA. Monster aroma as far as hops, guys. Do not sell her this beer. If it has the best buy date on it, stick to it. Do not. This one right here says Best Buy. Uh, looks like it's looks like it's 12 12. December 12. So it's December 2012. So we still got just a little bit of time on us in this uh, end of September here. So, uh, November, December. So we got, got a little bit of time, but. I would drink this as fresh as possible, as hoppy as this is. I can imagine what it smelled like when it first came in the bottle. 
That's probably been in about a month or two, maybe even three, I'm not sure. Maybe two. Wow. Very tasty, guys. Smells very tasty anyway. Wow. Let's give it a taste. Wow, that's awesome. You got a roasty malt there with a big hot presence. That's what I like about the black IPAs. They have that caramely toffee, hoppy taste. You get that roasty taste in there too from the darker malt. And a lot of them use a, like either a black patent or a, ro uh, a darker crystal malt or even a chocolate malt. They're probably actually, I'm not sure of this, but there are probably hundreds of different types of malt that you could use between the Vienna and the Crystal and, and, and the Carapils and there's so many different types of malt. Wow. This is tasty, guys. We may get two A beers in a row. This is right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. And as we always do, we're going to let it warm up just a little bit. Uh, the darker beers tend to put out a lot more aromas as they warm up. The roasty malts and stuff come out and the coffees and the chocolates uh, become more apparent. In, uh, and actually, even in the taste, uh, you get a little more stronger as the beer warms up to room temperature. Let's let it warm up and see what happens. Stick around, we'll be right back and we'll do the final chug on this one. Alright guys, I'm back. Wow. I'm blown away with this one. Look at the lacing on the glass. This is probably the, one of the best black ales that I've ever had. I mean, it could be a black IPA. I mean, if I was blindfolded, this is this is very, very hoppy. Nice citrusy, piney, roasty malt, chocolate cocoa. Wow. I have not been disappointed with anything that these people do. Especially the darker beers. Anything that looks like that, it's usually a winner. Bye, my child, guys. The carbonation gives it away. It's 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 a lot more carbonated than a than a stout or a porter would be. Very nice, very nice, guys. This is definitely an A beer. Uh, got the date on the side here. Tells you when to have it by. Uh, it's a nine out of ten. I mean, it's that good. Uh, it's pretty tasty. I'm blown away with this one. It's it's definitely an A beer, guys. I don't know what they could do to make it better. Uh, it's got this. Uh, this is in my opinion. On the very back end, this is a little bit bitter on the back end. And that may be the 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 the, the hops doing that. And that may be some of the malt. It's doing that, the bitterness of the malt. Uh, I'm not sure. But it's not enough to deter from it. It's definitely still a beer. So that is the only thing. It's just a tad on the bitter side on the back end. That would be the only thing I could deter this from rather than being a 10 beer. So, guys, that's what I'm going to stick with. It's a 9 out of 10. Uh, Rate Beer has this at 96 overall and 88 in the style. And uh, Rate Beer comes in. I mean, it, uh, Beer Abbott comes in at 88, which is in their upper end of the good range. So, I think it's just a little bit better than that. Uh, plus, they're out of North Carolina. I'm here in Virginia. They're just the next state over. So, I want to support them. And I think it's, uh, it's, well, it's a beer well worth trying. So, if you see this, pick it up. Give it a try. Especially, got the date on the side of it. Take a look at the side of it. It's still in date. Pick it up. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. Especially if you like a hoppy beer. That's why the name... Hoppy Bunny from Duck Rabbit, guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit the like button if you like it. And let's look at the friends tomorrow. Join me then. See everybody then.